Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Saginaw Township Police are actively searching for a possible homicide suspect. This afternoon, officers responded to Camelot Apartments, finding the body of a 29-year-old woman. Investigators determined her death may be a homicide. Officers then got a tip of a possible male suspect and a vehicle description. Saginaw County deputies found the vehicle, a white box truck, empty and left abandoned on the Zilwaukee Bridge. Police say the suspect, now identified as Aaron Pittman, is considered armed and dangerous. He was last seen wearing a red t-shirt, blue jeans, and a blue head wrap. If you have any information, call police immediately. The state is reinstating a requirement for people receiving unemployment benefits to show they're actively searching for work. The new requirement is effective May 30th, but there's no plan to end a $300 weekly federal supplement going to more than 800,000 jobless residents. Michigan's Republican U.S. House members are urging Governor Gretchen Whitmer to halt the extra payment, which is on top of the $362 maximum state benefits per week. But the state unemployment insurance agency says it doesn't plan to end any federal unemployment programs, including for self-employed or gig workers. Tonight in Michigan, the state is reporting more than 1,200 new cases of coronavirus and 83 deaths, 27 of which were identified during a vital records review. That brings the state's overall totals to 878,000 cases and the death toll to 18,710. And now here's Brian with a look at our weather. Well, thanks very much, Meg. It was another summer-like day, frankly, around mid-Michigan on our Tuesday. An early taste of summer, of course, since summer doesn't officially begin for a little over another month. But that uh, really doesn't seem to matter to the weather because this summertime heat is not only not going anywhere anytime soon, but still poised to get even hotter in the next few days. First one five sky tracker tonight still has high pressure in control of our weather, even though it has slid over into western por uh, portions that is of Pennsylvania. That'll continue to slide away from us as we head on into tomorrow, allowing this unraveling but still expansive storm system over the central US to begin a slow process of drifting northward into parts of Wisconsin and Illinois. Illinois. Eventually what will happen tomorrow is some of these uh, showers that you see near Chicago along with the cloud coverage will begin to stream our way and then with the continued warming and some increased humidity later in the week really can't rule out from day to day the possibility for some pop up showers or thunderstorms. Hour by hour forecast in the meantime though for this evening still looking okay. We'll see just a few high clouds begin to work their way in from the west that'll continue on into the midnight hour and then eventually those clouds will start to thicken up a bit more as we head toward tomorrow morning. Small shower chance does exist early in the day uh, for some locations closer to say Houghton Lake, maybe even over toward Lake George. Just depends on how far those showers that you see near Traverse City manage to track to the east. Either way, though, as the day goes on around midday, we'll begin to see some scattered showers develop over towards, say, Big Rapids, Grand Rapids and Sand Lake. Those will then begin to track into mid Michigan skies as we head toward three o'clock. Some of them will have some passing heavy downpours, maybe even a stray rumble of thunder too. They'll persist in that scattered fashion uh, through the evening commute around 6 p.m. on Wednesday and then fizzle out as we head on into Wednesday night. So really, this is a, a pattern that's going to repeat itself into most of the upcoming week. If you have outdoor plans to take advantage of the uh, increasing summer like temperatures, go ahead and keep them. But just like you would usually do in the summer season, keep a watchful eye on the skies as well. For tonight, 58 your overnight low temp. We're staying comfortable with increasing clouds and the small chance of a shower rolling in late. And then in the first one, five, seven day forecast high of 80 degrees. Despite some added cloud coverage for our Wednesday, we'll have those scattered showers and possibly a rumble of thunder during the afternoon and early evening. And then we really crank up the heat Thursday through Saturday. Highs in the middle to upper 80s, mid 80s on Sunday. Brief dip back to the upper 70s on Monday, but it looks like the 80s will continue to win out as we look ahead into Tuesday of next week. And again, with that summer heat comes the possibility each day for some passing showers and thunderstorms. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.